In this video, we'll be testing this Coleman Red Canyon 8-person tent for its ease of setup, takedown, spaciousness, comfort, and more. I bought this Red Canyon 8-person tent from Amazon, and inside the package, I got this gear loft poles for the tent, a floor mat, a carry case with 17 stakes, two room dividers, and the tent body and rain fly. I put affiliate links below if you want to check it out. To set up this Coleman Red Canyon 8-person tent, first insert these two red-colored fiberglass poles, which are the longest poles, into the two red pole sleeves at the center of the tent. Then prop both sides up by securing each end into one of these pins and attach the pole clips. These two white colored poles are for the sides of the tent. This is at the right side of the tent and this is at the left side. Next, drape the rain fly over the tent and secure these S hooks of the rain fly to the rings at the bottom of the tent where your poles are attached. The last two shortest and thinnest black fiberglass poles are for holding the rain fly away from the tent body, one at the front and another at the back. To set this pole up, there's a short pole sleeve at the tip of the rain fly and two rings in the tent body for the two ends of the pole. After that, stake down the tent as well as guide it out with the six pre-attached guy lines. Also, stake down the vent at the back of the tent. It took my bro and I about 10 minutes to set up the entire Coleman Red Canyon 8-person tent, and I set the entire tent up on my own in about 19 and a half minutes, so slightly less than double the time. Taking down the Coleman Red Canyon 8-person tent is just the opposite of the setup, and it took my bro and I about 7 minutes for the entire takedown and pack up. On my own, it took me about 14 minutes, so about double the time. For more details on the setup, takedown, and pack up, I have this separate video on my channel. The peak height in this Red Canyon 8-person tent is about 73 inches, and I can stand upright here. But because the shape of this Red Canyon is like an extended dome, the peak height is only at the center, and the roof of the tent slopes downwards from there. I took about three tiny steps back and my head was already touching the mesh at the top of the tent. Here's how the rest of the tent looked like as I moved backwards all the way to the end. The longest length of this Coleman Red Canyon 8-person tent is about 16 feet and 4 inches, while the longest width is about 9 feet and 7 inches, so slightly smaller than the marketed dimensions. The base area of this Red Canyon tent is actually really quite big for an 8-person tent, and I could easily fit 8 regular sleeping pads in this tent. Here's what it looks like. While you do have to sleep almost shoulder to shoulder, there's a little bit of leftover room for gear at the very sides of the tent. I would recommend using the sides of the tent for storing gear instead of sleeping because the corners of the tent slope off quite a bit and my head touches the wall of the tent when I sit up. Instead of 8 pads, you can fit 3 queen-sized camping mattresses and here's what the Red Canyon 8-person tent looks like with these 3 mattresses. There's quite a bit of leftover room for storing gear which is always very nice to have. The Red Canyon 8-person tent comes with two dividers, which you can put up at the two sides of the tent. Here's what the tent looks like with both dividers up. In the middle, you can fit four regular sleeping pads or two double pads, and behind each divider, you can fit either a double pad or two separate pads, but nothing bigger. The provided divider is a little see-through though and has gaps at the top of the divider and also at both sides. There is also no zip down the middle for easy access into either room and I had to take down one of the latches and then climb over the divider. This Red Canyon 8-person tent has two windows, one on each length of the tent. Both are about the same size with the window on the left measuring 42 inches in length and 26 inches in width while the window on the right measures 38 inches in length and 24 inches in width. Each window has two yellow zippers and a window latch to hold the fabric when it's open. There's also a bug net to prevent larger bugs from getting in. This Red Canyon 8-person tent has only one door on the front length of the tent, which comes with two yellow zippers as well as two door latches by the side to hold the door open. This door measures about 51 inches in length, about 39 inches in width, and about 53 inches from the ground to the top of the door. I'm about 5 foot 3, so I had to duck when getting in and out of the tent through this door. Oh, and here's what it looks like when I stand in front of it. There are two pockets inside this Red Canyon 8-person tent, one on each, with each measuring about 9 by 8 inches. There's one loop at the top of the tent here for a lantern, plus four more loops near it for a gear loft. Coleman gives you this square gear loft when you buy the tent. On top of that, you get another eight loops to hang two dividers around the tent. Two of these divider loops have this pre-attached string that you can use as a clothesline. It rained very lightly when I was using this Red Canyon 8-person tent. After the rain stopped about 15 minutes later, I found that there were no leaks inside the Red Canyon and the tent was still dry. I found these fiberglass poles that hold the rain fly away from the tent body pretty useful. 
because it protected my door and window mesh fabric from getting wet so I could leave them open in light rain. However, they cover only up to the edge of the tent so anything outside the tent will get wet. To test for heavy rain, I had to use this water hose on the tent and I concentrated the rainfall on the front length of the tent. After 15 minutes of heavy rain, this was when I noticed a few droplets of water seeping into the tent through the untaped seam connecting the tent body to the bathtub flooring. There were a few droplets along the length of the tent and a little more around the corner. Also, even though most of the heavy rainfall dripped to the sides of the tent, I found that the window mesh here will still get damp, especially when there's wind to blow the rain towards the mesh. During the heavy rain test, even though I couldn't leave both windows open because they got soaked, there was still a little bit of ventilation from the three vents inside the tent and the mesh of all three vents was still dry after the 15 minutes of heavy rain. I wouldn't really consider this a window, it's more of a vent because you can't really look out and you can't zip them shut either. There are two of these vents and one smaller vent at the bottom of the tent. The two larger vents each measure about 31 by 21 inches while the smallest vent measures about 23 by 9 inches. On a hot day, you can remove the rain fly from the outside and get plenty of ventilation from the ceiling mesh of this Red Canyon 8 person tent. Once the rain fly is removed, you will have not two but four windows because the vents at the sides will no longer be covered. The flooring of this Red Canyon 8 person tent is made of polyethylene and the buffed up feature extends up to about 8 inches. After 15 minutes of heavy rain, no water seeps through the buffed up flooring itself. I think the main tent body and rain fly are made of polyester, like all the other Coleman tents. It's a supposed to be a double thick polyguard, and both the white fabric and even the red fabric were dry after my 15 minute heavy rain test that I put this tent through. The rain fly was dry as well. Most of the seams in this Red Canyon 8 person tent have been inverted but not seam taped like this tent body to buffed up flooring seam and the white fabric to red fabric seam. The only seams that were taped was the seam on the vent as well as the seams on the rain fly. The double stitching was consistent and pretty good quality with only a few loose threads around the tent. I also found one small hole in one of the seams but otherwise it's pretty good. The mesh is just regular mesh, not no seam mesh and it's pretty decent quality. The zippers are also decent quality with no leaking issues and all of them are catch free. I didn't have snagging issues on the windows and also no snagging issues on the door whether I'm zipping it shut or open from the inside or the outside. Here are all 6 poles of this Red Canyon 8 person tent. I like that they are color coded for an easy setup but I didn't like that they are all made of fiberglass which is not the sturdiest. First this makes putting up the 2 longest red poles on my own a little difficult until I got the hang of it. And second, one of my thinnest black poles for keeping the rain fly up broke on my first use of this tent. I tried to duct tape it back but it didn't work. So there's nothing to hold the rain fly up, so on hot days, half the window will be blocked and on rainy days, the window will get super soaked. This Red Canyon 8 person tent has a packed size of 26 by 13 by 10 inches and here's what it looks like beside a Coleman 2 person sundome tent for a size comparison. It weighs about 20 pounds for everything. For pros, I was shocked to find that the base area is huge. It's so big that I could fit 8 pads with quite a bit of leftover space inside. In fact, I calculated the base area to be a little over 140 square feet, which is as big as some of my 10 person tents that I have, which I'll put up on the screen here so you can compare them. Another big pro is that the Red Canyon is quite feature rich and it comes with one gear loft, not one but two room dividers and even a clothesline. But there's no e-port or hinged D-door though. I also like that there's plenty of ventilation on hot days when the rain fly has been taken down. In fact, even in heavy rain, there is still some ventilation because there are three vents in the tent. This Red Canyon tent is also very, very reasonably priced for an 8 person tent. If you found this helpful so far, please help me hit that like button, thank you, and I really appreciate it. As for cons, I think the biggest one is how thin the rain fly fiberglass poles are. As I mentioned earlier, one of my poles broke very early on and even though the tent still works fine, the rainfly now blocks the window. Also, the other one of my thin rainfly poles became permanently bent after a few days of use. I kind of wish they designed a rainfly and its poles a little differently. Another con is that there is only one door in this huge 8 person tent and I expected at least two doors. This red canyon is also not great against heavy rains and water started trickling in through this seam after 15 minutes of heavy rain. This is not a whole ton of water though considering how much water was pouring over the red canyon tent but I still highly recommend using seam sealant for at least the seam connecting the red tent fabric to the buffed up flooring. 
Overall, I really liked this Coleman Red Canyon 8 person tent and I got a lot of tent, a lot of space and a lot of features for a very inexpensive price. It's really good value for money for sure. If you're on a budget but looking for a super spacious tent that's pretty good quality, I think this Red Canyon 8 person tent is definitely one of the most spacious for its price. How does this Red Canyon 8 person tent compare to its other similar tents though? Well don't worry because I've already done the comparison for you in these videos. I'll put them up when you're ready so do check those out. Thank you for watching and I'll see ya in the next one.